how love does funny things to people. I can't go through anything like what happened at the Swim Carnival again. If it hadn't been for the SOCs, I wouldn't have made it through. <laughs> and neither would Fliss. Let me at the dumb little wood shit! It's all because of the way people lose their heads over romance. Come on, lift those knees, suck in that air. It all started last Wednesday morning. Dad had gone on a health kick. That's it. You can do it. Why he suddenly decided sweat was so good for him, I don't oh. know. Hi. How was it? You can feel it doing you good. Oh. The swimming carnival's on Monday. Can you sign my consent form? Can't wait to cheer you girls on. This was not my dad. Swimming? Way too sporty. Last time I asked, he was not keen. Hey, Dad. The swim carnival's next month. You're not coming, are you? I think I'll give it a miss. A bit too vigorous for me. No props. Couldn't grab me another cup of coffee, could you? Save me getting up. Want some wheatgrass juice? No, thank you. Says here. Heaps of alien abductions are reported, but never confirmed. People taken by aliens and replaced with exact doubles. Sorry, love? Nothing, Dad. Hmm. It makes you think, doesn't it? No, no. It's left at the nebula, right at the black hole, then it's the third planet along. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you, Zipfepola. In fact, it could explain a lot. Her lifetime of misery came to an end when poor Catherine of Aragon died. Alone, broken-hearted, a has-been queen. All because her husband, Henry VIII, went to some palace party and lost his heart to Anne Boleyn. And then later he met someone else? So he had Anne's head chopped off? I'm afraid so. Cool! <laughs> This had a rose-tinted view of romance. So, Ryan, what is that spherical object thou kickest so pointlessly? Thank you, girls. And yes, as Marco has told us already, next week we will do the life of Henry's second wife, Anne Boleyn. Any volunteers? OK, Fliss. Who's your partner? Oh. Marco, excellent. Huh? So, class, next week we will hear from Fliss and Marco on uh, <clears throat> Anne Boleyn. Too bad. We were aiming for a line of banana. <laughs> Tough break, man. Here's how it works. You find ten books by Thursday and you call me. Drag, but what choice have I got? She gave me a number, so I have to call her. You've got Slide Bottom's mobile number. How else can I call her to boss her around? Although, there's a million things I'd rather be doing. You know, I'm really glad to hear that, man, because the fact is, you don't stand a chance against Ryan Scott. Love, it's the strangest thing. Does the strangest things Takes me on that way <laughs>
stargazing. That night, the sleepover was at my house. Exercising, watching what he eats, a new haircut? This could only mean one thing. He's getting fat and his hair's too long. He's got a mystery woman on the scene. My dad? Swim carnival is Monday. When are we going to organize the relay? Let's stick with alien abduction. I can handle that. What have aliens got to do with the relay? <laughs> Millennium Man magazine. I found it in the toilet. Linz, what about the bathroom speed record? I was timing you. Oops, I forgot. It was beginning to look like the SOCs had a point. I mean, what self-respecting extraterrestrial reads articles like... Wheatgrass. The healthy way to a new you? Mystery woman. But what woman? Dad doesn't even know any. He talks to the deli lady. He waves to the mail lady. He argues with the parking officer. That's three potential new stepmoms. Rosie, don't speak to your mother, your mother, mother like that. It's better than one mum with three heads. What's up with Rosie? I know. Let's distract ourselves and talk about the swim carnival. Kenny, huh? we're talking about life here. Oh, the swim carnival. <sighs> Kenny, you're right. Dad's never been to it before. So why is he suddenly coming on Monday? This can only mean one thing. Mystery woman will be lurking at the pool. Mm -hmm. They were touching. You know, they could make an interesting combo. Huh? Winner of race one, Kendra Tone. Oh, look, Kenny won! Hey, hey, go, mobile number. There's got to be some way we can use it. I've got it. It's simple, yet brilliant. Simply brilliant. Brooke Ashton. Every school in the world has one. Boys dream about her. Girls dream they are her. But Al Brooke was a serious freak. Because despite all this, we all liked her. So, uh, what's the plan? Huh? Huh? Huh. Give me some mobile. I tried my best to deal with it. I really did. Come on, Rosie. Time to get wet. Wait for it. Hmm? Right, she's reading. <laughs> she's freaking. <laughs> oh, what is it? They're not making cherry lip gloss anymore? What event are you in, Ryan? Ryan? Ryan! Whoa! What does he mean, what event am I in? I've memorized every event he's in. I don't think you should answer it. Why not? Well, not just yet. We need to think about this. Go slow. Play it smart. Slow, smart. 
It's a fact, I'm gonna die. On your marks. Get set. In that moment, I saw it. My future family cheer squad. SOCs? This is starting to reach life-altering proportions. Should be at your house all the time. Hanging around. A teacher. English assignments due tomorrow. Oh, and Rosie. Huh? I found your bra underneath your bed this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Dad and Miss Nichols must be kept apart whatever it takes. Aren't you forgetting what happened last time we interfered with Miss Nichols' love life? The important thing is not to wait for chances. We have to go looking for them. All backstroke competitors, please report. Oops, backstroke, gotta go. Subject shows no sign of moving. Repeat, no sign of moving. It's okay, your dad's over there. Okay, I, I think we need to relax for a moment. So, Ryan. You want to know what event I'm in? Oh, we've so sucked her in. <laughs> What's it say? It says we are geniuses. Let me see. <laughs> so, Ryan, do you think we should message her back? You know, Ryan, I think it would be rude not to. <laughs> Frankie may not have been able to hear what they were up to, but she knew the M&Ms were up to something evil. But right now, there were more urgent things to attend to. Right, think I'll go and get some drinks. Anyone want one? I'll get them. You take it easy, Mr. Cartwright. Really, I don't mind. All that exercise Rosie tells us you're doing? You should be resting up whenever you can. Lynn's had done brilliantly, but it was just the beginning. seconds. <laughs> this is bad. Dad's not funny. What do we do now? I hoped it wouldn't come to this. No way, Ruth. Not that. What choice has she got? Anything. But that. It won't work. What Kenny meant is that it always worked. Problem is, it's so uncool. Did I say I was desperate? Ow! Oh. Dad? I feel sick. They're calling fake sickies. Things must have gotten desperate. What is a turtle babe like you doing at a carnival like this? Man, you are a genius. Yes, well, the trick is to keep it short but still get in just the right amount of cheap <laughs> flattery. I'm never going to delete this. What do you think I should say back? Don't say anything. Keep him guessing and be mysterious. Ignore him? Are you serious? Uh, oh, oh, Rosie, what's up? Uh, mm, you look awful. I feel awful. You don't feel like you want to be sick, do you? I could uh, get you a bucket. Right, well, um, you sit quietly and I'll go and get some water. Oh, no, Miss Car, are you stay held though? You sure? Definitely. 
I know what you creep boys are up to. No, you don't. So you are up to something. No. Cool. And you won't have to suffer the consequences. Wait a minute. What if there was something going on? What consequences would you mean? <laughs> We need them to meet up. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, how's this for an incredible idea? Yeah, what? Now that we've really fooled Fliss, like totally, maybe now is the perfect time to call the whole thing off. Yeah, just so we got her on the hook, we stopped. Good one, doofus. We need to talk. Big hugs! Ryan and I are dating! Meet Beach Hut after school smoothie. This isn't good. Yes, it is! In every conceivable way. This is good. Do you even know it's from him? Well, of course it's from him. See, it won't allow me to see who sent it. What? Well, of course Ryan would have his number withheld. Otherwise, every girl would be trying to get it. So that proves it's him. This is just the best day of my life. Mm. Poor Frankie. This was way too big for one SOC to handle alone. Aren't you in the relay? Me neither. Too tired after my personal best of butterfly. How's our assignment going? I want to talk to you about that. I've been reading about Anne Boleyn. Did you know she had her eye on Henry long before he even noticed her? She was probably ambitious. Had a dream. I guess if you want to be queen that bad, you have to marry King, right? Anne got so hooked on Henry, she didn't even watch out for what was going on around her. You should always keep your eyes open. Things aren't always what they seem. That's a message I got. Sounds to me like the message is, don't marry a head chopper. Haven't you got some more reading to do? <sighs> After making a miraculous recovery for the relay race, I realised there was just no way I could go on keeping Dad and Miss Nichols apart and still have a life. Miss Nichols? I'm sorry my Dad's been hounding you. Has he? I hadn't noticed. You don't have to be nice. Ever since the doctors gave him the okay, all Dad wants to do is talk about his experience. I was desperate. I panicked. I hit an all-time low. Right. I read about alien abductions. Sorry, Ms. Nichols, emergency. All SOCs needed, like, right now. Stop it, Ryan! <laughs> Stop playing games with my heart! Poor Fliss. This is a new low, even for the M&Ms. We've got to stop them. Any ideas? I think it's time we called in some outside expertise. That's our plan. Will you do it? I'm in. Meanwhile, Frankie and I were getting creative. We had a seriously serious payback to attend to. We need something that totally sums up what being Matthew, Michael and Marco is all about. The words oily and worms come to mind. Are you M, M, and M? Who? Oh, us. I hope the three of you don't mind. But this note you sent me is so amazing, I just have to share it with everyone. What note? Oh, Brooke, you are so fine. Our glum little lives begin to shine in the hope that one day you will be mine. Although we are but three oily worms, mm -hmm. deep inside mm -hmm. our hearts churn. We're as interesting as wood chip logs. Dear Brooke, take pity on us lovesick dogs. With all our love, M, M and M. I don't remember writing that. I'm sorry you feel like oily worms. Please, lay off the hideous poetry. <laughs> Yes. Um, 
that there's something we need to tell you. Let me at those dumb little wood shirt! Let it go, please! Believe me, they're totally paid out. Totally. <laughs> yes, so. What you guys did for me was really great. If your friends won't save you from humiliation, who will? Come on, let's go get a smoothie. There's someone I've got to talk to first. Who? Uh-oh. So much for letting it go. Marco, I need to talk to you. Don't talk. Just smile and nod and look like you're having a wicked time. Got it? What's wrong with him? He's powerless. She's like a witch. You tried to warn me it wasn't Ryan, didn't you? But I didn't listen. Do I smile and nod now? Please. We won't go into why you might have done it, because that's kind of scary. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. I just want to say I feel bad about not listening to you and not thanking you for the rubbish bin thing. You saw that? Please don't make me say thank you again. <laughs> the rubbish bin should have warned me. You're secretly a nice guy. I am? But mess with me again and I'll expose you. Imagine if that got around. Imagine if the worms back there found out. Found out what? That you're a nice guy, stupid. <laughs> Marco, I could squash you like a fly. <laughs> Even yeah? after all that happened, I bet if Fliss got an SMS right now to meet Ryan, she'd be there in a flash. Because Fliss believes in romance. It's part of who she is. And as for Dad and Miss Nichols... What's happened to the health kick? I've finished the article. No need for any more research. So that's all it was about? Research for an article? You can't very well write about health and fitness till you've tried it. So this had nothing to do with Miss Nichols. Miss Nichols? Never mind. Speaking of Miss Nichols, she was asking me about alien abductions. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? <laughs> so, in the end, the only person who really lost their head in all this was me. I totally freaked at the thought of Dad and Miss Nichols, but it was never really going to happen. Anyway, I couldn't have done anything about it, really. As Bliss says, romance will always find a way. Oh. And Dad made me come clean and tell him exactly where Miss Nichols got that stuff about him and alien abductions. So I told him. She must have read it on the back of a cereal box. <laughs> See ya. Hanging around is just no fun when you're alone.